We are seeing a real estate spike, but is it a peak? Hi everyone, it's Nick McLean, owner of the Nick McLean Real Estate Group, and this is May 2021's real estate market update for Wenatchee Valley. Right now, we've seen sales increase dramatically, 29% compared to last year. And I, I had to chuckle over this because the obviously sales are up 29% compared to last year, because if you remember last year, Real estate was unessential or non-essential. And, and so sales dramatically dropped. And so are sales really up 29% compared to last year? Yes. Yes, but no, they're not. They're not anywhere near up 29% from last year. If COVID didn't hit last year, we would be probably behind sales. In fact, we were having one of the best springs ever in 2020 before COVID hit. So sales are up right now, 29%, but the total sales, only 84, only 84 total sales uh, last month in April. And so to me, that's low. It could be much higher. In fact, there's demand for, for probably double or triple the amount of sales that we saw. That's how much demand we're seeing out there. Just in our office, and we sell over a home a day, almost two homes a day. We're seeing 29,000 people to our website every single month. So 29,000 people on our website from all across the country compared to 84 sales, you see there's a discrepancy in the, the amount of actual solds and the overall demand. Inventory, everyone's talking about inventory. Out. Inventory is dropping, dropping, dropping. There's nothing for sale. There's nothing for sale. I hear it everywhere. Stop it. Stop it. Stop that nonsense that there's nothing for sale because the fact of the matter is there's been more listings listed in 2021 than there were in 2020 at this time period. In fact, you know, listings are up 17% from last month. Now there's only 35 active li listings total on the marketplace. And that's why everyone's crying. There's nothing on the market. I heard inventory is low. Yes, that's because inventory is being absorbed really quickly but we're seeing new properties hit the marketplace. We're seeing new listings hit the marketplace. In fact, there was 101 new listings. And so we've actually seen 10% more listings in 2021 than we did in 2020. So just stop the nonsense. There's homes out there to be purchased. There's homes out there to move to. If you're a homeowner, you can sell your home. You will find a place to go. And they're probably gonna be better at a better interest rate, better location. If you do it right, if you put a plan in place, that can happen. It's just when you go and look on what's on the shelves, there's nothing on the shelves, but the factories producing them, right? It's just like e-commerce, right? Right now, you can't go to stores and expect them to have the inventory. You got to go to the supplier to get the inventory. And the suppliers right now are builders or offices like the Nick McLean Real Estate Group. We are the suppliers of new listing inventory. We know about listings two, four, six, six months, six weeks, six months in advance. So if we know what you're looking for, we can do a little matchmaking and, and notify you as soon as something hits the marketplace before most people even dream of knowing about it. Average sales price. So what's going on with values? Well. Values continue to rise. We're up 18% compared to last year. That's just a continuation of this 18% trend. So the average sales price is 438, 438 throughout Wenatchee Valley. My prediction, just keep reminding you guys, is this a peak or, is, or just a spike? I think it's a spike. I think we continue to go because I, I believe we're going to go to 500,000. And we have a long ways to go to get to 500,000. We're at 438, long ways to go. So continue to see home values go up. So if you're a buyer or you're a seller that's going to buy, time is, time is now to lock it in, lock it in now. List price to sale price ratios, homes are selling for 100% or 101%, 100 to 101% of what it's asked at. So if, you're, if you list your home for 400, on average, you're gonna sell your home for 404. That's great news. You're hearing stories of 10, 30, 40, $50,000 over asking price. That's because they underpriced their home. So, you know, I told, I'm telling people this, you're going to sell your home, but are you giving it away? You're going to get more than you're asking for, but are you still giving it away? For many people out there in the last six months to a year, you gave your home away. You did not have the right marketing 
to get the most demand. If you sold it like that, you sold it too quick. So that's the real estate market update. You know, like this post if you're seeing it on Facebook. If you're getting it by email, share the email with somebody that's in the marketplace so they can get on our newsletter. If you're seeing it on YouTube, comment, like it, share it. Please help us spread the word on the real estate market. If you have a home and you want to know what's worth, as always, there's no obligation. Our team gives you a value in today's market using our marketing, and there's no cost. In fact, we're always also going to help people out with the remodel projects. A lot of people are refinancing their homes, taking, pulling money out, and putting it back into their home. And I caution you guys, do not, do not swing a hammer until you consult us because you might be putting money in places that don't give you a return. And I hate it when people put money in homes that they don't get a return because it makes it harder on us to sell your home. And we want to get you a return on investment. Hope you guys are having a great uh, month, a great year. If you, as, as always, you can reach out to our team for all your real estate needs and, and expert advice delivered to you free, no obligation charge always. Take care.